Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Steph. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. This week, we're gonna be testing this again. So there is already a video on this. I will link it down below. But we tested this and it turned out to be a bit of a bust. So we're gonna try this again. I also have this UV resin. We're gonna test this as well. Now we're gonna test these on shrink film because the hope is in the future, we're gonna be able to make those super cute mushrooms and stuff that we have as stickers that will be in the shop into pin badges, which is quite exciting, but we need to get these steps right first. So we're gonna test those. But I also have this, a big ball of Mod Podge. <laughs> This is to seal it. Now I have my fingers crossed for this because I tried PVA. Doesn't work by the way, but we'll, I'll show you that soon. So yeah, we're gonna seal with the Mod Podge. We're gonna test this dimensional magic again, and we're gonna test UV resin. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. Ow. Okay, so these two here, I did before and I did them both with PVA and you'll see that the colours bled around the sides of the image onto the white bit. This one, so this one was brushed on um, lightly which just seemed to smear the colour around. This one was dabbed on with a generous amount of PVA and you can see that it's just full of bubbles and the colour has completely bled on that one. So don't use PVA, it was rubbish. The next, next up, this is the Mod Podge. So this one, I haven't even left it to fully dry because you can already see that the colour is completely bleeding on it and it's got bubbles. And that was me dabbing on a generous amount of Mod Podge. So that's a no-go. This was um, this was me spreading it on with a paintbrush, but still kind of generously. And you can see that the colours bled on that one as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this one was lightly done, which is a lot better, but it still has bled a little bit. I'm not sure if you can see there's slight blue on the, um, the white. So it's better, but not quite what I wanted. Now this one, I did this one again, this was two layers, but it also has bled as well. So I thought, hmm, I wonder if it's because there's so much color on these on this shrink film. So what I did was I took another one that I lightened. Now this one's, I did this before when we did shrink film and I lightened the image too much and I thought, hmm, I don't quite like those colors, they're not bright enough but it actually is still quite bright and the color hasn't bled. So this was done with the Mod Podge as well. You can kind of see streak lines. I'm not sure if that would show up later on after we've done resin and Mod Podge, the dimensional Mod Podge, but it looks really good. So I will show you that actually, hold on a second. Okay, so this was like the original brightness that I had and it has been lightened obviously but because that's what you have to do with the instructions but I think it's too bright and the color is just bleeding straight out of it and these were the ones that I did that were that I thought were too light but I mean now that it's been done it's that's pretty pretty bright pretty vibrant which I quite like so we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cut these out and use them as tests for when we do the resin and the Mod Podge. And um, hopefully it's gonna turn out good because this is a winner. So I'm gonna cut these out and get them in the oven. Okay, so I just took some out of the oven. These two are the ones that I've just taken out of the oven and these two already have Mod Podge on them. There is no bleeding on these two. But also, what I wanted to say to you guys was, look at the brightness difference as soon as you put Mod Podge on it. It fair brightens up a bit. 
So yeah, I'm excited to use this resin, but also really scared. <laughs> spoke too soon. I don't know if you're going to see. Green! There is green bleeding onto the white. There it is as well. Look, right in the bottom corner here. Got it! This one's green as well, but I don't know if it's bleeding. Does it look like it? Looks like there's maybe some fluff stuck on there. Oh. Bye bye, green mushroom.
Okay, so it is the next day. Now I gave this a lot longer than the dimensional magic actually says to leave it for at least three hours. Now I've left this for over 20 hours now. And well, look at this. Remember last time? If you haven't seen the last video, I'm gonna link it below, but it's cloudy still. It's also got a big indent in the middle of them. So I'm not quite sure what it is that I'm doing wrong when it comes to this, or if that's just how it pretty much turns out. I used a sealer this time. I don't think it's any more clear than last time. So yeah, we're just going for Dimensional Mod Podge, a bust again. But hey ho, that's what we're here for, isn't it? Testing things and seeing what works. This, on the other hand, is our resin. No, I'm not sure. This one actually, I want to mention this because on the video you'll have seen that I actually stuck this to a bit of tape. I don't recommend doing that. I think what you should do is make sure that you've got a flat surface that's level. Otherwise you end up with, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get this in the camera. You actually end up with it being most of the resin being on this side. It's actually slanted up here. Can't quite get it on the camera. But apart from that, it's lovely and clear. There's no bubbles in this one whatsoever. Oh no, there is. There's one tiny bubble there. This one is also about the same. This is the one that actually had fluff on it. So be careful, you don't get fluff on it. But totally clear and see-through, a really nice finish. This one I just did with like one coat, you know, so it's not, it's not really domed, it's just flat, but it's really nice. A really nice finish to it. There's no bubbles in this one whatsoever. It's pretty. And this one's more domed but it does have bubbles in it. You can probably see them right there. There's quite a few as well. So I'm not sure how to not get bubbles. I didn't leave the resin to sit for 10 minutes before I cured it. That might have something to do with it. I've also heard that people use like a lighter before they cure it to try and get rid of the bubbles but I'm not 100% sure. So if you have any advice, feel free to leave it in the comments below. But yeah, it worked out pretty well. But this, well, let's chuck that away. <laughs> so yeah, I think that was pretty successful. We're getting closer and closer to having the perfect finished product. <laughs> I think the only thing I didn't mention there in the video was the little tiny, I think it's like a, nail UV light. It's teeny tiny, it's probably only about this big. It stops after 26 seconds. I think I put mine under that light about eight times, but the best thing to do is just kind of lightly touch it. And if it still feels tacky, stick it back under again, because it should be completely hard and smooth before it's finished. But yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to subscribe because there's going to be another video on this because I'm, I'm going to get these right. <laughs> and as always, thank you so much for coming and joining us and we will see you next time. <laughs>